Cool. All right. Yeah. I'm Josh, the chef and founder of Orso Pasta here in Los Angeles, and I'm back with our flamingo friends to teach you some more cool pasta stuff. So, today we are working on a vegan semolina pasta dough. So for that, we are just gonna use what's called semola flour. It's a little bit more coarsely ground than regular flour, and water, that's totally it. So, to start, we're gonna take two cups of this semola flour, and one cup of just regular old fresh water. When you're making pasta, people like to focus a lot on something called uh, a hydration level, which is exactly what it sounds like. But as a rule of thumb, we're shooting for about half. So, two cups of flour is gonna equal about one cup of water. We are just gonna take a fork and lightly start incorporating that in. If you just mash it down, squeeze it, and you'll squeeze all the life out of it, all the character. So. The motion that we're gonna do is I'm gonna put my thumb right here in the center. I'm gonna fold this back. And then I'm gonna take the palm of my hand and gently push it forward into there. Rock it back, do the same thing. Once we have our dough and it looks like this and it feels like this, we're gonna let it rest. I would rest it for at least 30 minutes, uh, but it can go much longer. Even overnight probably would be would be preferable. After we've given this some time to rest, it should feel a little more relaxed. You can see like it's a little more pliable now. So let's chop it in half here and let's get ourselves some little sheets. So what I'm doing here is I'm just cutting flat little sheets here. Then I'll take each of these sheets and I'll cut them into little strips. So, once you have these little sticks, I guess, we're gonna roll them into ropes. And I am using my fingers, I'm kinda using my whole hand, and I'm not putting a ton of pressure. Next thing we're gonna do is just take our knife and chop them into little dumplings. We cut our little pillows, our little dumplings, we'll take a piece, and we're just gonna roll it with, a, with our thumb along the table, gently. The other thing you can do if you wanna up your cavatelli game a little bit. So it's the same motion, we're still pushing down and out, but we're just gonna do it against the times before, really gently. So, the final shape that we're gonna make here with this rope style is orichette. So, we take a knife and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna pull it back towards us, gently, fold it over, and very gently just kind of press that. The last shape we're gonna make is called strichette, which is uh, what we know as bow tie pasta. So, we're gonna give ourselves a little disc, and I'm just gonna put even pressure, and I'm gonna roll it out to about the size of a sheet of printer paper, or like a flower petal. Now let's square it off. So, we've got our little squares. My index finger is gonna go right smack in the center there. My thumb's gonna come from this side. My middle finger's gonna come from this side. They're gonna start pushing in. Then I'm gonna take my index finger out and just push them together. The sauce that we're gonna be using is a saffron turmeric butter sauce, which is a sauce that I made for Flamingo Estate. So, all we need to do is chop this up like this and set it off to the side and boil some water. So we've got our boiling water, we've got our fresh pasta, semolina, dough, as well as the pasta that we've just made. Let's throw it right in. And while we're waiting for that, we can jump right into making our sauce. What we're gonna need is some of this butter and then the last thing we're gonna need is just a splash of water. I like to think about two tablespoons. So you just take some of that starchy pasta water, add that in. So we'll take that. We can put this right into here. If we want more room for it to 
to jostle around. We can put it back in this larger pan. And yeah, this is looking really, really good. It's got that light saffron turmeric hue to it. We know it's already seasoned the way we want it to be, but of course we're chefs, so we're gonna check. It's really, really good. And that's pretty much it. Nothing left to do but plate it. <laughs>